Hi service now expert so this will be our second video for a virtual agent where we'll be doing uh, integrate with chat gpt our virtual agent and chat gpt integration will do so if you want to know like how can we set up chat gpt and uh, how can i get the endpoint how can i get the tokens how can i set a rest message for that i already uh, created one different video so i'll share that link uh, in the description also you can go through that you can set up the integration once we'll set up the integration, we'll call that integration by using our own topics. Uh, so let's get started. So let me show you what I have done earlier. So you can see ask to chat GPT one button I have created here. This is one topics, nothing but if you'll click on this, it will ask you the, to give you input. And once you will give the input based on that input, it will uh, trigger one integration with chat GPT. It will collect the information from chat GPT. It will show guess here. So similarly, we'll do our own customization. So we'll do, we'll do that from scratch if mm, to come this. So let me explain you. This is like a virtual agent designer. You have to click on all. You have to type here um, virtual agent. So you can see one designer is there. Once you will click, this page will open. So here we can click on this uh, create button. We can create our own custom topics. So here we'll create our type will be topics. Here some name we'll give like chart gpt description also i'll give chart gpt okay so this is uh, okay this keyword is nothing but like uh, suppose you can see here if i'll type something like ask to chart see automatically one popularity is coming uh, one uh, this topic is automatically is getting populated so to do those kind of population also you can use this uh, keyword so whatever you will type suppose i'll give light here gpt only so automatically once i'll type like only gpt automatically this uh, our topic will appear so who can access this topic you can add some role based group based you can add some script condition and all rest everything you can ignore you can click on this create once uh, okay already we have a topic in same name okay we can chat gpt uh, demo demo okay i'll click on create The moment I will click it, you can see one particular flow is coming. Some designer. This is like where you can designer. It has few things here: flow, properties, languages. Okay, so here whatever you are seeing in blue color, these all will be user input. If you want to take some input from user, you have to use these things. These uh, like boolean value, date, time, file picker, lots of things are the text format. So orange things will be bot response. So whatever uh, whatever activity will perform inside your this flow, we can showcase that message. Some message will generate and we can showcase that output to particular user. So for that we have to use these orange things. Text if it is an image, if it is a link, you can use this one. So utilities like something. Suppose you want to do some lookup, you can uh, want to write some script. For that you can use these things. So this is one topic blocks I'll cover in uh, next video where we can create our own topic blocks and if there is any cost uh, already out of the box topic blocks, how can you use that? So that one I'll also cover in next part and in the below you can see one is variable section, one is input variable, one is script variable. So input variable nothing but wherever you will take a input automatically one input variable will get added. So what is script variable? If I will click on this plus icon, you can create some variable over here and that variable will be a global variable for this whole flow. Okay, from any of the particular activity, you can set that variable or you can fetch the value. Okay, so let's get started without wasting time. First of all, uh, to get that particular topics to like uh, create that particular topics, we should uh, first step will be we should get some input from the user. So how can we get? So this is one text input is there i'll drag this one i'll drop it here so here it will ask for node name node name nothing but a like variable name here we can pick like user underscore input okay the prompt message so what suppose user want to input something so before that we have to ask some question so what question will we'll ask like hi dear uh, how can i help you so we can ask something like this and this input format different different format is that text email ip address so these all below formats if you'll use it automatically service now has this own validation if you'll type email if you're trying uh, trying to enter something different type of email dot at the rate abc.com something different type of it will never allow if it is not a proper format 
IP address also. If it is not proper IP address, it will not allow you to enter the IP address. So, but in our case, it will be text. So I'll click on this text. If you want to make that in uh, input secure, you can click this button. If you want to add some default value also, you can add this. So once you will receive the input, if you want to showcase some confirmation message like, yes, we have received your input, we are processing your data. Uh, like this you can show them we'll show that like uh, we have uh, received your input uh, please wait a uh, please wait few second okay we'll uh, give some confirmation message like that so now we have received our input next stage will be the input we have received we have to call the chart gpt uh, integration so that we can get the response from chat gpt to call that we'll use this script action block we'll drag this one we'll drop it here okay so once we'll drop it here before like we have to store our output right we have to store our output and we have to showcase that message to uh, showcase that message to user so do that first we have to click on this plus button we'll create one our uh, variable called output uh, chart gpt output okay so default value will not add anything if you want to add some default value also you can add we'll click on this save then here this script node name will give uh, process uh, data something like this okay once we'll give then it will be action here we can write our own script how can i write see uh, there are two out of the box uh, like objects one will be where's one will be where inputs okay let me show you see i will type see you can see two things where inputs and where where's so this where inputs is nothing but if you want to access some access some input variables whatever user has entered in the chart gpt and this where where's is nothing but like whatever our script variables so here i'll click on this where where's dot automatically see you can chart gpt output the script variable is coming i'll click on this equal to now we'll call the script include where we'll do the integration so here i have already created one script include where we have already done the integration and here i have created one message like sorry function in this function will accept the text and it will process the data it will return you the uh, outputs okay the output will be response object okay let's uh, close this I'll copy this. If you want to go through this uh, whole process, like how to get the endpoint and all, I'll add a uh, I'll add a link in the description where you can go through that video, where I have already explained you how can you get uh, everything uh, regarding chat GPT. Okay, so now this is the script include dot. We have to call our function. This will be our function. Okay, so our function will accept one parameter that is text. Which text? Like whatever input text we have received so to get the input i'll on again type va then va inputs means virtual agent inputs dot it will automatically show me user input i'll click enter dot get value so now i think this where chat gpt output will store the data whatever the chat gpt will respond whatever our api will respond i'll click on save now we have our response message here now we have to showcase this message to user to do that we'll drag this one text this is the bot response once i will drag this it will ask you some in output uh, sorry node name like output uh, message okay so the response message will be uh, we'll click on this data pill uh, and you can see script variable and it will be change output data i'll click on this uh, then we can click on save let's test this to taste this we can click this test button one more thing also you can mark okay just one second it is loading taking bit time okay see now uh, whatever things we have configured is saying hi dear how can we help you uh, who are you 
will ask this question so you can see in user input automatically who are you is getting added see in the chart GPT automatically it is coming so you yeah, received your input please wait for a few seconds automatically one thing will appear like I am AI language model created by Pradi AI designed to assist although it's a chart GPT but I have renamed it as a Pradi AI so how I have done that it's a different thing so you can ignore that part so this is the response we have received so now you can see it is working properly also you can go through this log so wherever you will feel like some error is happening you can go through this log and you can get like what is the error so if I will come here already I have saved this let me click on save then let me make it active once it will be activated ok now let me click on save and let me click on publish okay you can see this table view also there if I'll click on this automatically this one will convert to table view you can see and you can add you can by using this add new node you can add anywhere wherever you want so now let's test our things in real environment I'll come here I'll refresh this we have if you remember we have added uh, one keywords called GPT we'll try to search by using that only let's get started sorry uh, if I'll click this so it will ask okay so out of the box greetings will appear here I'll type some GPT let's see it is coming or not you can see chart GPT demo is coming so I can click this one and it will automatically start the conversation otherwise we can click show me everything here also chart GPT demo is appearing I can click this who is uh, your father should have please wait for a few seconds as an AI language I don't have a father or biological connection thank you for our support chat so you can see this is working properly so as I told you how can I add the topics at the beginning beginning in the sense instead of this ask to chart GPT I can add something like chart GPT demo see this one will remove will add our chart GPT demo so how can I do that to do that what you have to do you have to click here all and you can type your conver conversational interface settings you can once you will click on setting it will redirect you to this page so here in the you can click this virtual agent so in this virtual agent here one option is there custom greetings and setup you can see you can click on this button view all once you will click you can click on this default chat experience so now you can see these are lots of uh, default topics and everything will appear over here so you can see setup topics prompt topics so here this prompt topics is nothing but this topics whatever is coming uh, automatically the discover IP and charge but if you I'll show you I must have configured that right if I'll click on this prompt topics I think something went wrong yeah you can see this chart GPT and discover IP that this is coming here you can mention the order which one you want to uh, ask first so let's do one thing this ask chart GPT will remove this okay I'll remove to remove this I'll click on this uh, okay I can click on this so instead the instead of this chart GPT we'll use our own we'll click on this search button chart GPT demo I'll click this one uh, let me push to for second it should come first discover IP then this one should appear I'll click on save now let's uh, saved or not yeah it's saved let's go back will change the order of the discover IP one 
I'll scroll down click on this prompt prompted topics here this discover IP chart GPT will make this order uh, sorry let's uh, change this one to the 100 okay now let's go back my internet is a bit slow okay both are 100 now we'll make this chart GPT demo to 200 200 let me save this so once we'll save this we can click on this update now let's go to our screen we'll refresh this one okay now it's going if i'll click on this let's see it is coming or not again it is coming as discover ip chat gpt uh, okay let me go here click on prompted topics okay still it is not changing okay let me refresh come here let me control c close this one Like this, again it is coming as ask to charge GPT. So I don't know why it is coming like that, it has not updated or what. Last refresh just now. Okay, now let's see. I'll refresh this sometimes it may not work you have to log out and log in and you have to check so it is not working so for this you can what you can do you can log out and log in then we can check let me do that uh, let me refresh the screen let's see it has updated or not correct only this one will update as 200 again So you can log out and log in again it will automatically appear over here in this button so you can try this and let me know if you are still if you will face any type of issue or you find any complexity over here you can uh, comment in the video i will help you out definitely thank you so much stay tuned for next video in next video we will try to add some attachment in a particular incident or any record uh, via this chart gpt Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.